हेलो स्टूडेंट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड जनरल रजिस्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल फोकस ऑन स्टैक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो हियर बेसिकली वी विल डिस्कस टू टाइप ऑफ स्टैक फर्स्ट वन इज रजिस्टर स्टैक एंड अनदर इज अ मेमोरी स्टैक सो रजिस्टर स्टैक मींस व्हिच इज इंप्लीमेंटेड यूजिंग सीपीयू रजिस्टर और यू कैन से द हार्डवेयर स्टैक वाइल दिस मेमोरी स्टैक विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड यूजिंग registers of memory means uh, we can say it it will be implemented using gram so let us start our discussion with register stack as you can see in register stack uh, the size of stack will be fixed okay so here in a uh, for example here we have taken the register stack uh, of size 64 here first address is 0 okay and the last address is 63 clear so uh, it will grow upward means 0 then next address 1 next address 2 next address 3 next address 4 likewise it will go up to 63 so register stack size will be fixed so let me write down first thing it will be fixed size okay clear next just a minute which are the other element of register stack okay the first one is dr data register so what is need of data register so in stack based organization whatever data we want to store into the stack or whatever data we will retrieve from the stack okay it will be retrieved using data register so uh, as you know there are uh, two operation with the stack uh, push for storing data pop for removing data and then we can have a pip in pip we will uh, look at the top of the stack so whatever top element will is there it will be uh, retrieved okay uh, so here in register stack also we will have same operation so this is stack as i told you this is data register it will help us to store data into the stack as well as it will help us to retrieve the data from the uh, stack uh addition to this we are having two flags okay so flag means indicator two flags are full and empty full will indicate that there is no space in the stack and empty will indicate uh all the space in the stack is empty now how we can keep track of the uh, current position or how we can keep the track of the data that uh, at uh, which, po which position new data will be added so to store that address we will use stack pointer so stack pointer will always point towards the top of the stack so whenever cpu will be start the initial value of empty will be set to 1 why because stack is empty and full will be set to zero okay stack pointer will point at the first memory location now let me write down the push and pop operation so we can discuss it so what will happen in case of push first stack pointer will be incremented sp is equals to sp plus 1 then m of sp means whatever location is specified by stack pointer it will be uh, on that location content of data register will be stored and then it will be checked if sp equals to 0 then full will be set to 1 okay and then empty will be set to zero okay so the, how this will be work first stack pointer will be incremented then on that location data will be stored and then uh, we will check if the value of stack pointer is zero then uh, full uh, value of full flag will be set to one okay and after that we will execute the statement empty equals to zero so 
if meaning of uh, empty let's say value of empty flag is zero as well as full flag is also zero so in that case we can say uh, neither stack is empty nor it is full okay means uh, partially stack is filled okay so and if value of empty is zero and value of full is one that means stack is full so this is how it works uh, let me uh, write the pop operation and then we will discuss both operation together so in pop first we will retrieve that element dr is equals to m of sp then sp will be decremented to 1 next we will check if sp equals to 0 then empty will be set to 1 and after that we will execute full equals to 0 ok so let us assume uh, that stake is full so if we will uh, pop one element from the stake at that time uh, there will be vacancy for new element one vacancy for new element so uh, because of that full will be set to 0 now let us try to uh, add an element uh, into the stack so let us try to simulate the stack so we can have idea how it will work what is the initial value of sp initial value of sp is 0 okay initially empty will be uh, 0 sorry empty will be 1 and full will be uh, 0 okay so let us start let's say first we want to add a we want to store a okay so sp is equals to sp plus 1 so from 0 it will go to the 1 then m of sp equals to dr so first a will be stored into uh, dr and then from dr it will be stored onto memory location 1 then if sp equals to 0 what is current value of sp sp equals to 1 so it won't be uh, executed and then what is the next statement empty equals to 0 so this 1 will become 0 okay so currently empty is also 0 and full is also 0 now next time let's say we want to store b so what is current value of sp 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so sp will point from 2 to oh sorry 1 to 2 then m of sp is equals to dr m of 2 equals to dr so first b will be stored into dr and from dr uh, this will be stored onto memory location 2 and then again uh, we will check if sp equals to 0 no sp is not 0 and empty equals to 0 uh, no empty is uh, then we will set empty equals to 0 so this will be 0 0 as it is now let's say we want to store c so first we will place c into the dr then uh, sp okay uh, let me tell you that every time this content of dr will be overwritten so sp is equals to sp plus 1 so 2 plus 1 3 then m of sp m of 3 equals to dr what is value of dr so c so c will be stored on memory location 3 and if sp equals to 0 what is value of sp it is 3 okay and so it won't be executed and empty will be set to 0 0 0 again so likewise let's say on 63 we are storing z okay so first we will store zz into dr I miss here any random data okay so it is not like that uh, only one character or we can store okay if register size is let's say uh, uh, 32 bit or something larger then we can store uh, m multiple characters so let's say we are storing zz so in that case what will happen mm, on 63 okay so right now let us assume that value of stack pointer is 62 so sp is equals to sp plus 1 so from 62 it will go to 63 then it will store that value on that location and then if sp equals to 0 then full equals to 1 so value of sp is 63 so no data will be stored here uh, sorry uh, there will be no uh, value of sp is not 0 so full will not be set to 1 and next empty equals to 0 so this 0 0 will be as it is 
now let's say i want to store y so um sp is equals to sp plus 1 so 63 plus 1 now here this is a little bit interesting so if we write 63 okay then uh, 2 raised to 532 2 raised to uh, 6 64 okay so 6 bit will be required So this will be the uh, starting address of stack. Okay, size of stack pointer will be six bit. Size of stack pointer will be six bit. Why? Because we are having sixty four location. So uh, currently, stack pointer is pointing at sixty three. Okay. So uh, this is the location where we are pointing. Means at the boundary. Now, if we increment this by one. Okay, so let us try to add uh, 1 into all 1. So 1 plus 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1. Okay, so as it, as it can stare only uh, 6 a bit. So 1 will be discarded and this will go to the last position. So sp is equals to sp plus 1 so 63 plus 1 we will get again 0 and then m of sp equals to dr so this y will be stored on this location and then uh, we will check what is value of sp value of sp is 0 okay and uh, so what will happen the value of full flag will be set to 1 so this 0 will become 1 okay and empty will be zero as it is so next time stack will try to add any element first it will check the flag okay so in every operation first uh, stack value or the position of stack pointer or you can say the flag will be checked so computer can have idea whether there is a uh, space empty space in stack or not okay clear with this okay so now let us uh, uh, go with the pop now let us assume that stake is uh, full so this is the current scenario empty equals to 0 full equals to 1 now pop dr is equals to m of sp so this y will be stored into dr okay then sp is equals to sp minus 1 so if you subtract 1 from all 0 then you again you will get 63 okay so stack pointer will point at this location so initially uh, from 63 uh, it came to 0 okay while in case of pop from uh, 0 it will go to 63 okay 1 so sp is equals to sp minus 1 so 63 then if sp equals to 0 what is value of sp sp is not 0 so then empty equals to 1 so but it is not 0 so this won't be executed and full will be set to 0 so this one will become 0 so both are 0 0 then again it will be decremented so from 63 it will go to 62 then uh, likewise it will go step by step down c then b okay now let us assume that current value of stack pointer is b so dr is equals to m of spf we will try to execute the pop operation so we will uh, arrive into dr then sp is equals to sp minus 1 so what is current value of sp 2 2 minus 1 1 okay so the new value of sp will be 1 so sp will point at this location then if sp equals to 0 so sp is not 0 so this won't be executed and full equals to 0 now again we are trying to pop the element so what will happen dr is equals to sp so b will be overwritten by a then sp is equals to sp minus 1 so 1 minus 1 0 now if sp equals to 0 then mt equals to 1 so that means uh, now you can see all the elements are popped so current value of stack means uh, all the element in the stack will be zero so this 
full will be set to zero as well as this empty will be set to one so next time if uh, there is any pop operation then first flag will be checked if uh, flag is uh, empty flag is set that means uh, stack is uh, empty okay so this is known as underflow similarly whenever the stack is full and if uh, there is a push operation then it will check the flag if full value of full flag is one that means there is no space so it will result into stack overflow okay clear now uh, dear student just try to understand that we are not deleting any data from the stack clear so whenever next time if i will add any data it will simply override the value of a with the new value okay next time whatever value if i will try to push then it will override the value of b with the new value c with the new value so still uh, that stack will be used every time value will be over return into stack as well as in data register this will help uh, to cpu in uh, saving the input output operation or, or you can say the memory operation which we which are time consuming so if it is not necessary then cpu will never delete any data it will simply every time override the data okay so i hope you have uh, understood that what i whatever i have tried to teach you in uh, uh, you can say register stack okay so in this video uh, we will keep up to this